so do not disturb why is my arm all the way up in the air hello <laughs> i'll just keep it there i guess what if i told you that a quarter of the year is now gone actually more than a quarter of the year is gone but i did not realize this okay this is why words and language are my thing and not math and numbers because i told you guys right i'm gonna be studying languages by quarter this year so therefore i'm gonna give you an update every single quarter and i was like so i'll see you guys in april i even said that in the video like the first video i made at the beginning of the year i'm gonna be doing a video like every three months at the beginning of every quarter but alas this is how my brain thinks okay quarter four four months okay so at the end of april that's the end of the first quarter right no babe that's not how math works it's 12 in four quarters so therefore quarter one ended at the end of march so i am entirely over a month late with this update video but i'm here now <laughs> all jokes aside all stupidity and lack of concept of time aside the first quarter of the year is over which means that i owe you guys a progress update so today i'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of how my studies went in quarter one like you know my goals and my plans and how it actually turned out and then talk about what i'm doing this quarter or what i've already been doing this quarter because i didn't realize that the quarter started like over a month ago so but i will not do this again I probably will. It's just like, I just need to talk it out. So this is gonna be a more chatty video, if that's okay with you. Is that okay with you? I don't care. This is my channel, this is my show. So relax, get yourself a cup of tea. I would have one too, but I just drank one and I drink black tea, so that's too much caffeine. <sighs> I know the Turks are laughing at me right now. Are you guys laughing? You laughing, girl? You trying to laugh? I'm gonna show you guys my plans and organization for quarter two on my Notion template in just a little bit. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in using it for yourself, stay tuned so let's talk about quarter one so my kind of plan and breakdown for quarter one since i kind of you know divide it like by language by month it was going to be january just german february french and turkish and then march was going to be french and german now the reason i was solely focused on german at the beginning of the year was because i was planning to be on the easy german podcast in february the following month which i actually ended up doing it was very exciting i used my german for 30 minutes straight it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be here take a listen ich denke, viele Leute haben den Eindruck, dass ich, also dass es irgendwann diesen großen Moment gab, wo ich mich entschieden habe, hey, ich werde jetzt zehn Sprachen nennen. Aber es war nicht so. Und äh, ja, ich denke, viele andere Polyglotten würden auch zustimmen, dass es ein sehr langsames Prozess sein kann. But yeah, that's why I was focusing on just German, because it's a lot of pressure to be on a podcast speaking just German for 30 minutes, even more to be getting like interviewed as, I don't know, like an authority figure on language learning in German. So yeah, I did not want to get caught with my pants down. It had been a while since I had spoken German, so I just wanted to like brush up, but it was just going to be for the month of January, right? Because I was going to do the interview and the podcast in the beginning of February, right? But then... came the rescheduling twice. We rescheduled twice. So I didn't end up actually recording the podcast until March, the beginning of March. So as you could predict, that threw off my plans originally for March to study French and Turkish. You know, I was planning like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be done with the podcast recording and then for the rest of the month of March, I'm just gonna like do some French and Turkish for fun. No. So yeah, the French and Turkish ended up being the month of March instead of February like I planned. And it was really like, it was cathartic to get that podcast recording done. So for the rest of the month of March, I just did like fun stuff in French and Turkish. I wasn't really focusing on any concrete goals. I was more so just doing like crosswords, reading, like watching TV, all that good stuff. Can we just talk about crosswords for a moment for language learning? Because they really are the truth. Like people sleep on crosswords so much like, oh, that's a grand thing you do crosswords yeah I do crosswords are you kidding it's it's such a good exercise for your brain in general even if you do them in your native language but layer that with language learning it's like oh all my synapses oh they're firing oh crosswords help you avoid dementia so when you guys have dementia at 45 and you guys are the grandmas early because you didn't do a crossword don't come to me <sighs> Anyways, why did I get so heated up about that? So yes, even though quarter one, the timing was a bit off, I didn't get to balance, you know, my different languages between the months exactly like I wanted to. It was still a really productive quarter. I basically accomplished what I wanted to do. I had fun. Also, can we talk about the fact that I haven't even mentioned Spanish at all? I was in Mexico for the entirety of quarter one, so I was also using my Spanish and improving it every single day. Hell yeah. Like, it, 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 was, it was a good quarter. Okay, so quarter one out of the way, under the belt. Let's move on to quarter two. So I'm going to tell you guys what I plan to do for quarter two, what I've ended up doing so far, and what I'm going to continue doing until the end of June. If you'll follow me to camera two. 
Hello. So we've been here before, right? This is my 2023 language plan and track. This is a Notion template that I designed myself for my personal use, but I've also made it available for you to use and customize and put your own goals and track your progress and all that good stuff. So if you'd like to access it, I will leave a link down in the description. So yeah, this is basically where all my goals live. Um, here on the side, I have like my goals for the whole year and my goals for each month. And I have like, you know, progress journals and all that. Yeah, but let's jump into quarter two. So this is my page for quarter two. Immediately at the top, I, this is my favorite thing about this template that I made. The little like inspirational quotes I put at the top. I'm so corny, y'all, honestly. It's spring and life is in everything. At the beginning of the year, we sowed the seeds. We planned, experimented with new routines, and drew our momentum. Don't lose focus now. Continue to breathe life and focus into your endeavors and let your languages enrich your life in return. That's pretty that's pretty damn good. Honestly, I give myself a little pat on the back for those. I love those. They get me they get me so hyped up. I'm like, I wrote that? I agree, bitch. Like, yeah, let's do it. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this little breakdown real quick and then talk about like the specifics of what I'm planning to do each month. So first of all, you'll notice that the month monthly breakdown per month like in which languages is a little different this time because there's percentages so that essentially just means like how many days out of the month I'm going to be studying that language so for example April ended up being a mostly French month because I'm doing my Dolph oh spoiler we'll talk about that in a second okay the Dolph is coming the Dolph is coming so yeah April was pretty much just a French month there were some Turkish days here and there but you know 10 percent of 30 days is three days, so honestly not that much. In this month of May, it's still more French than Turkish, but a bit more Turkish than last month. So 75 and 25 because it's French during the week and on the weekends I'm doing Turkish. I literally have to force myself to not study French on the weekends just cause like I don't want my brain to get so overloaded. I do need to hop around a little bit. And in June, we have French and German. So we're gonna completely just leave Turkish out of the mix for a little bit in June. But you see these dates here? You see these dates? June 15th, okay, let's talk about it. I'm taking the Delph C1 exam way sooner than I expected, okay? You guys, I expect it, let me show you. If we go over here to the home page of the tracker, you'll see on the sidebar here, it says end of quarter three, so that's like almost the beginning of winter, past C1 French and B2 German. So originally I was planning to take both of these exams at essentially the end of quarter three, but I just got antsy one day and that honestly, thinking about it causes a lot of anxiety, like taking two big exams in the same quarter. So at the beginning of April, I just got the thought one day, I was like, why am I waiting? Why am I doing this? I'm just like prolonging the anticipation a little bit. And that just like, that doesn't sit right with me. So literally that day I called up the Alliance Francaise here in Chicago and I was like, when is the next Delphi one exam? And they said, June 15th. So therefore, June 15th, that's the day that I'm going to obviously stop focusing on French and switch to German. So it's literally a clean split down the middle for June. It's just, you know, 50-50. 15 days French, 15 days German. Stuff changes, honestly, but that's why at the beginning of the year, I only mapped out my plans for quarter one and quarter four, because honestly, I predicted that stuff was just going to shift around a ton, like in the middle of the year. So let's go scroll down to my goals and my resources and all that stuff. And let's talk about Turkish or French first. So French, the thing that is, it has always been a problem with me for French, like ever since I quit studying French after high school, it's just been a vocab loss, like a continuous steady vocab loss. So my main goal to do well on the Dolph C1, I really just think that I need to perfect my vocabulary. And of course, perf I guess perfect isn't a good word because there's always going to be words that I don't know, but I just need like hella words. Words, okay, so the main goal with French is vocab acquisition and this is the time where I talk to you guys about what I'm doing But you'll see this in a video soon, but I'll go ahead and talk about it now I'm doing the Lingoda sprint. I don't know if you guys know what Lingoda is It's basically like an online language school where you can take group classes or private classes and they have like you know, a whole curriculum in a couple different languages. So so basically the Lingoda Sprint is just like, you sign up for either 30 or 60 group classes in the language. And if you finish all of them, you get your money back. Well, if you do the 30 days, you get half of your money back. And if you do the 60 days, you get a full refund, which is pretty cool. Let me actually show you guys, cause I have Lingoda open right here. This is not sponsored by the way. I am going to be doing a sponsored video with Lingoda next month, but I'm just, I'm just showing you this stuff now to show you what I'm doing, okay, promise. It has like a curriculum, you know, so there's like different chapters and themes and you just like take classes within these chapters. So yeah, you can see I've been mostly taking classes in like the B2 levels. There's B2.1, 0.2 and then 0.3. So yeah, check me out. Vous avez terminé 8 leçons sur 50. Very good. But yeah, the little green check marks are just like the classes that I've done. So it could be like, 
you know, how to resolve problems, résolution de problèmes. It could be, what else do we got? Uh, parlons de travail, négocier, there's a lot of business stuff. La gentrification, I literally just took that class like an hour ago. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I'm just taking themed classes and getting a ton of like vocabulary in different areas. So like environment, work, society, and that's really what's good for adult preparation. It's just like having a lot of words from a lot of different, you know, topics or buckets because it's a very very like interdisciplinary test they ask you about so many different things it's honestly kind of intimidating and i also have a book hold on this is a test prep book it's called le delf 100% réussite so it basically just you know divides the test up into its different sections and give you like exercises to work with so when i say weekly delf section practice i'm talking about that i'm talking about like you know reading comprehension writing you know all the different sections of the tests you know each week i'm prepping for a different section now moving on to turkish i do have a couple of like concrete really specific goals for turkish but i'm gonna still keep it pretty lax in turkish i want to work on negation because honestly it's so confusing sometimes the difference between like I don't or like yapamıyorum is that even a thing? Yapamam. See, obviously I have no idea. That's why I need to work on my Turkish negation, making sentences negative. Um, I also want to just perfect talking in the different like basic tenses. So I'm I'm pretty good at the present tense, but I want to talk about the future and the past better. So yeah, this is kind of like my whole spiel, like the concrete things I'm gonna do. So working with the Turkish for Anfänger book that I have, uh, using Buzu to just you know get vocab and just practice. And I'm also taking speaking lessons. I'd say that's where I get like the majority of my practice is through speaking lessons. I've been taking classes on the weekends. Saturday I do 30 minutes, Sunday I do 30 minutes. Perfect. Um, and if we look at German, it literally says TBD. If you go down to resources for German, it says TBD. For German, it's going to be just vibes, honestly, because German is just like hitching a ride onto the tail end of this quarter. It's literally 15 days out of the whole quarter. So I just want to like have fun and relax after the stress that is, you know, Delph and the prep for the Delph. So I'm not doing any planning for German, really. Probably just going to vibe. That's probably on the menu. So if we scroll down now to my routine and like talking about time division, this is more just like technical stuff for me. So French obviously is still getting the majority of time, seven plus hours a week. Turkish is like approximately two, two and a half hours per week. And German, TBD, to be determined, no plan at all. I'm studying every single day of the week because I'm doing the Lingoda Sprint, I'm taking class every single day. So yeah, I usually don't do that, but you know. Over here, this is where I put like kind of my weekly routine, but I don't really have a routine this month. There is a bit of chaos here, but it's like controlled chaos, okay? I promise that I have it under control. It's not just like, you know, plan to the T. We don't really do that here. If if you've noticed. Pretty much the only set or like fixed things I'm doing every week are my Turkish classes. So on Saturday morning and Sunday morning, I have my 30 minute classes, like I said. Now back to other Elise. Thank you for tuning in, my friends. This has been an Elise de Vega original progress update, and I'll see you at the beginning of July for another one. Quarter three. How exciting. How are we? This year is literally, where's my cats? This year is flying by. If you would be so kind, let me know down in the comments your plans, goals, intentions, whatever for quarter two, how they're measuring up so far, since once again, the quarter is almost already over. Once again, if you'd like to use the same template that I do to plan my goals, track my progress every single quarter, I'll leave the link for you down below. You can make it your own, customize it. You can put a picture of cats on it. See you next time. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Guru Shooters. A bientôt. A la próxima. Até mais. See you. Bye.